Hello everyone. This is the original Marshall Leach Low TIM amplifier. The design was published in 1976. This is a 100 watt Class AB circuitry. Leach was an assistant professor with Georgia Institute of Technology in the School of Electrical Engineering in Georgia, USA. He then published a wide bandwidth pre-amplifier design in 1977. During the late 1970s, I had built a stereo unit based on the publication. The circuit was very stable, hence it was easy to build and set up. Around 1982 to 84, when I was a college student, I built four mono blocks based on this circuitry. At that time, 1% metal film resistors were new to the market, and prices were a few times of 5% carbon film ones. As a student, I was on a tight budget. Hence, carbon film resistors were used. After 38 years, two of them work fine upon power up before any work is done. Power switch on one of them is broken, so that needs to be re replaced. As for the last one, there was a loud sizzling sound from the power supply, supply board upon power on. Glad that I turned it off within a second before any harm was done. Probable cause? Probably the filtering e-caps was broken. Two sets of slightly different configurations. The left pair is beefed up version. The right pair is the original design. The beef up pair has bigger transformer with AC output of 36 volts times two. It operates at DC plus and minus 50 volt. There are four pieces of 10,000 microfarad 50 volt filtering capacitors. With two pairs of power transistors, we were using MJ802 and MJ4502. The two units to the right are the original design with one pair of power transistors. Transformer output is AC 32 volt times 2. It operates at DC plus and minus 45 volt. Four pieces of 15,000 microfarad 50 volt filtering capacitors. In the front, there's only a one power switch. It's plain and simple. I like it simple. A few years after the mono blocks were built, around late 1980s, more components were available in the market and quality had improved. I upgraded the input and output sockets to go play that ones. There is a separate video on testing the two mono blocks, which are still working. I will be refurbishing all four units with new components, definitely replacing all filtering caps with new ones. If space allow, the input and output sockets as well. More videos will be available soon, so stay tuned!